Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we have the Dauntless, which was in that one Voyager episode where they thought it was a ship that was sent by Starfleet with a slipstream drive, but unfortunately it turned out to be an alien ship. Well, he's come back for revenge. He's already gone after Janeway in the Intrepid class. Now he's going after the Rhode Island, captained by Harry Kim. So here we go. Red alert, shields up. Now, it's weird how he went from being an ensign to a captain. I know some time had passed, but it's so strange how they never promoted him. It's almost like it was an in-joke with the writers or something. I find it bizarre. It was almost like, because Tom Paris was promoted twice, it's almost like it was a popularity contest or something. I don't know. Maybe that's how it works in Starfleet. Oh, gosh. Now, the Rhode Island is an upgraded Nova class, and it features quantum torpedoes as well as photons. The Dauntless is a little bit weaker than an Intrepid class. Their bottom shield is draining, I remember in the episode Seabot commenting how the tactical systems were roughly the same. Although I don't think the shielding was as good, because Voyager was able to collapse the shielding on the Dauntless pretty easily. Engine room. Oh, yeah, the Dauntless does not like quantum torpedoes, as you can see. I was gutted when it turned out it was an alien ship pretending to be from Earth. I was like, oh no, it's too good to be true. Whoa, there we go. Right. Should we try that the other way around? Okay, so here we are on the Dauntless. Very cool looking ship. I really like it. The thing is, though, would he have been able to kidnap the entire Voyager crew? It's a shame they didn't, like, Voyager didn't kind of take over that ship. And they could have flown it back themselves. Sir, our shield is draining. I find it pretty amazing, though, how that alien was able to reconstruct the Starfleet message to say something completely different. That was incredible. Ooh. Oh no! Wow. Well, we were no match for the Rhode Island. I guess he didn't get his revenge after all. And now he's uh, one with the collective. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.